Still under caution here at the Lowe's Motor Speedway. Take a look at how the night has gone for the guys in the chase for the next Tell Cup championship. Right front tire flat early on. That's tore Matt Kenseth, sorry. Tore up the fender, had to put some tape on it, tried to keep it together. Right. Newman. Newman's had all kinds of issues tonight. He just needed a little bit more fuel. He wasn't getting the mileage everybody else was getting. And Tony Stewart punctures a rear tire and backs it in the fence. Leading the race there. But he's 25th spot. And Rusty Wallace, the last caution flag, spins off turn two and then spins again, trying to get to pit road. And how do the guys on pit road feel right now? The 48 car good. had the race won, but now he has to survive a two more laps. A restart. It's a hard thing. You can see right now, Stewart and Johnson tied for the lead. And it's only a 142 points back to Kurt Busch. And as Benny said, two more laps to go. And it actually <laughs> closed up from last week. Yes. Or after last yeah. week's race. Yeah, Mayfield was 157 back coming yep. in. Now 115. All right. Next time by, green flag. And Kurt Busch is going to try it on the inside. Bib will try it on the outside. And Nemechek will be watching. Trying to figure out which way he can go. Two laps to try and get it done here. Single file restart. Jimmy Johnson has won three in a row here at the Lowe's Motor Speedway for the last five. Kurt Busch, Greg Biffle, a couple of Roush teammates right behind him. Right now it's a Chevy chase for two laps. Bush tried to get that yeah. momentum on the outside. Didn't work. He's got a lot of speed going down the back stretch anyway. And Jimmy Johnson drove that car in and parts on that car started dragging. We haven't seen drag all day. One more lap. White flag, final lap. Driving 110 percent now. Yes, yes, sir. <laughs> Two more turns. Does not look like Bush can get there. Jimmy Johnson has had a wild night. He and his crew have fought through all kinds of problems. But Jimmy Johnson, four in a row at Lowe's. Unbelievable, guys. You guys are the best. Woo! Yeah, Jimmy There, guys. Jimmy, you drove your heart out, man. That's one thing about this team. They never, never, ever make it easy for us. And we come back from it every time. You guys are the best. Awesome. Jimmy, incredible, man. Jeff Gordon. Unbelievable, guys. Thank you so much. Never quit, man. All the adversity tonight, that's true championship form. Dave? Yeah, Chad, Chad just said not bad, huh? Chasing battery issues, watching tires flying all around you, and you got to victory lane. Yeah, I tell you what, that's the thing about this Lowe's team. They never, ever give up. You know, in the face of adversity, this team fights so strong. And we had a bad week at Talladega, and then we came to, uh, or where we go up Talladega? I don't remember. Kansas. <laughs> that was Kansas. Yeah, Kansas. You know, we had a good race there, and that's what we needed to get back into the hunt. And these guys worked so hard today. You know, we had tire issues. We're battling back and forth between scuffs and stickers and the battery change and all that stuff. It's just... What do you say? These guys are the best. We got the best race car driver. We got the best team. We got the best edges. We got the best everything. We're pretty fortunate. And he continues to be winning in his house. Jimmy Johnson tonight, guys. Thanks, Dave. Chevrolet congratulates Jimmy Johnson and the 48 Monte Carlo on today's win. The defending manufacturer's champion takes win number 571 overall. Chevy, the revolution, races on. Four wins in a row at this track for Jimmy Johnson, five of the last six. Once the checkered flag. Four in a row. 
that is something else. And remember how strong he was beginning with this race in the chase last year, won four of the last six races, Matt Yoakum. And he made up 82 points tonight, Bill. Back in this chase, Kurt Busch, you said you needed some luck. Was this the kind of night you needed to turn this all around? Feels good. Uh, you know, we didn't have anything really out of the ordinary happen to us. Nice, solid day. Uh, we lost some uh, spots when everybody decided to use the high groove. I was like, where's everybody going? And so they went to the front. We learned that. And then after that, uh, we just played our strategy to only race hard when we had to. And that was towards the end, to gain that track position. And then two tires of four, I wasn't sure. But Jimmy Fenning, I stick with my crew chief all the time. Great run for our Urban Industrial Tools Ford. And you know, to race a 48 like that here, it's his home track. He runs hard. And, uh, you know, Jack and Alice has had that problem of getting through tech lately. He'll see if he gets through today. <laughs> he finished his second here tonight. Today, Birds. And Tony Stewart limps his damaged race car home in 25th here tonight. Tony, sum up this night. Why don't you sum it up, Dave? <laughs> you got to watch the whole thing. I didn't get to see much of it. So. It was crazy. Well, there you go. <laughs> I mean, we did the best we could with what we had. I mean, we were the fastest car all night. We just, uh, I mean, I was listening to a stat. Zippy was telling me, I mean, 42 out of 43 cars have tire problems. So uh, welcome to the wonderful world of... <laughs> racing here. I mean, it's just one of weird nights. Tony, what do you think we should do? Well, I probably shouldn't ask that because I think I have a feeling what four <laughs> things on this tires on this car we should do something about. But Tony, what would be the solution? I don't think it was Goodyear's fault. I mean, you can't you can't blame Goodyear when they didn't know there was a change. So, uh, you know, it was just uh, it was a bad set of circumstances that started, you know, before the May race and uh, you know, everybody involved did their part in trying to make it as good as they could. So, um, you know, you, I don't I don't know that you can point the finger to everybody, at anybody. I mean, everybody tried to make it better. It was just, this is just what we had to deal with tonight. So, um, you know, we, we, we take our lumps and we go on from here. So uh, um, everybody can point fingers all they want. But um, you know, everybody involved, from NASCAR to Humpy to Goodyear, um, everybody involved did everything they thought they could do to resolve the problem and make it better and make it safe for all of us. So uh, you can't ask them to do any more than that. Okay, Tony Stewart, thank you. And tie for the points lead at this point. Marty? Rusty Wallace had a fairly clean night until the last few laps. What happened? I just lost it. I drove up underneath the 25 car. I've had um, had a flat tire, had loose lug nuts. I just kept getting laps down. Finally got every one of the laps back and got back up in there as we're going for it. I said, man, just hammer down. There's nothing to lose. And I went for it, and I was just passing like crazy. The car was handling great. And I caught the 25 car, and uh, I went to go to the outside, and I see he moved up. He was taking my line because he knew I was going up there. That's fine. Fair game. And uh, then I can see it was just blocking the top of the racetrack up, so I just shot to the bottom. When I shot to the bottom, I had it made all through one and two, then I just, on the exit of the turn, I just got loose, and it got off from underneath me, and that was it. Alan Beswick in victory lane. And Jimmy Johnson just getting unstrapped. He's having a look over his shoulder at car owner Rick Hendrick, who stepped around the corner to have a word with Jimmy. Well, Jimmy, congratulations. Tell me now, how realistic did you think a win was at several points during this race? This is the first drink I've had in a couple hours. I couldn't even run the, uh, the Gatorade system inside the car because the batteries were dying. We changed batteries. Alternator had some troubles. Um, flat tire. All kinds of crazy things. I just can't thank my guys enough for always working as hard as they do, giving me great equipment. I've been blessed with this opportunity, Hendrick Motorsports, Lowe's, all their employee owners. Today was about teamwork. Um, we thought we were down and out a few times, but never gave up. Found our way to victory line. When you were racing with Joe Nemechek and Ricky Rudd, you got the damage. You were still able to come back around Joe for the lead and eventually the win. How concerned were you then? I was really concerned. I saw that Joe had a run on the outside of the 21, and I went to follow Joe through. The 21 tried to squeeze into that hole, and I tried backing out of it, and we had a little contact and, and uh, gave the fender in. So I took it easy for a few laps, and it kind of clearanced itself. Uh, and then I worked on Joe. He was really strong and had the preferred line. Uh, and then finally I got by him after a couple of attempts and got the slowest Monte Carlo in victory lane. A couple of quick thoughts on your fourth straight win here, and you are now tied with Tony Stewart for the championship lead. Thoughts there? Wow, that's that's incredible for us. Um, good day. That's what we needed to do, and I can't believe that we always end up somehow towards the front at the end of a race. Uh, the 600, the last lap, we got it done. This one in the closing laps after a long night of adversity. Uh, just, just an unbelievable day. I've got to thank all of our associate sponsors as well on board. Uh, Hendrick Motorsports, the engine shop, chassis shop, everybody did an awesome job. Plus we started, plus we started at the back. I mean, I, this has been one heck of a night. I can't believe it. <laughs> it's starting to sink in. Congratulations. Jimmy Johnson, winner tonight. From 41st to 1st. Fourth win of the year for Johnson. His fifth win here in nine races. 18th career victory.
Good run for a lot of these guys. Nemechek got a fourth spot at it. Casey Mears, sixth. And how about Denny Hamlin? Second cup race, finishes eighth. Carl Edwards fought back to finish in the top ten. And Jeremy Mayfield used that strategy at the end to finish 11th. The green dots on the right-hand side of the screen indicate drivers that led a lap. Elliott Sadler led the most laps. And there you see Elliott Sadler will finish 27th. Tony Stewart, 25th today. And that's, that's a big 25th finishing spot for him, though. Because it could have been 35th. Yep. All, All these, these cars are out. A lot of outs. 24 cars finished on the lead lap. 15 cars failed to finish. Take a look at the championship standings as the chase for the next Hell Cup hits the halfway mark. Five to go. Gets better and better. Man, it doesn't get much better than this. Tie at the top, then Biffle, Newman, Martin. It's just 142 points back to Kurt Busch. The most points you can make up in one race, 156. Next Saturday on TNT, it's NASCAR Busch Series racing from Memphis at 3.30 Eastern. Then next Sunday, it's the Subway 500 from the Martinsville Speedway on NBC as the chase for the next Hell Cup continues. Coverage begins at 12.30 Eastern with the Bank of America countdown to green. Tomorrow at 1 Eastern on NBC, it's continuing coverage of the Samsung World Championship, followed by the Dew Tour PlayStation Pro at 4 Eastern. Next, except on the West Coast, it's your local news, followed by Saturday Night Live. Thanks for having us in for the race. Four in a row for Johnson at Lowe's.